Diddy may be a world famous mogul, but right now, he's just a dad, stuck at home with six kids. The rapper and father opened up to Naomi Campbell about life in quarantine. We're trying to, to really just, you know, plan and see what we want to take to the next step as a family. He remembered his longtime love, Kim Porter, after her sudden and tragic death from pneumonia almost a year and a half ago. Losing Kim and now being a single father of six, my thinking had to change. You know, I had to really get focused on their futures and because um, I know how rough it is out here. Not rough in the bank account, though. He's worth nearly a billion dollars, just formed a company called Combs Cartel, and his children's projects will go underneath that. What are the goals we're going to set for what we're going to do to come out of this better and stronger and have more of an impact and change the narrative of the black family? Dr. Dorian is here. We're going to talk vaccine and nicotine, amazingly. But first, Dr. Fauci says on CNN that by late May, early June, anyone who needs a test will be able to get a test. Sound good? <laughs> Sounds great. I mean, if we can get tests, we are basically forgetting about that big problem of do you have it or you don't have it. So we need that, and if that happens, we're really gonna be on the right path. Oxford University says that they could have the vaccine ready to go and given to people by September because they were already working on something very similar. They have a head start. Is that even possible? The way I look at it is the greatest Christmas gift I could get is if we can get a vaccine before December. September, I mean, wow. let's, let's start popping some champagne because <laughs> it, it would be the first time ever for us to get a vaccine that quickly. The normal process, year, year and a half. The new process, which we're breaking records. I mean, I love to hear September, but I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic and let's, let's hope for it before the end of the year. Champagne and cigarettes, my friend. They're saying nicotine is an anti-inflammatory. Not tobacco, but nicotine. That's is a that... very important distinction. You're right. Okay, cigarettes, it's like saying, go smack your head against the wall and your elbow won't hurt. <laughs> does not, <laughs> does not work. Let's not go down that path. Yes, they're finding some potential association with nicotine and some benefits, but you know that's the one I really want to like put on the back burner. We'll look at data, but I know what's going to happen. As soon as you say Nick, everyone's like, oh, let me go light up. Boom, yeah. I knew it. Finally, <laughs> you know. So let's, let's back off on that one. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.